new body in heaven, but guess what? You can get some of that blessing right now on earth. Amen. James chapter 5 says, call for the elders of the church and let them pray, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise them up, and if they have committed sins, they shall be forgiven them. Amen. Now, there is a direct correlation between the healing of the mind and of the soul that will flow and permeate into the body. Because when the brain is functioning correctly, then all the nutrients can flow to the various systems yeah, yeah, of the yeah. body to perform perfectly as God yeah, created. Yeah, yeah. Amen. That's why the enemy is always attacking your mind, your soul, your will, and emotions to weaken your whole immune system, yeah, yeah. to make you do something crazy, to make yeah, you do something yeah. like putting something strange in your body, yeah, yeah. to make you do something without thinking. Now, I don't want to speculate on what broke this woman down, but what a weight and emotional burden that must have lifted off, to her, off of her after all these years, finally being able to feel good about herself, good about her body clean on the inside, and being around people again, amen, mm -hmm. all because she met a man named Jesus. Yes. Now, before I move to my final person to examine in this text, I want to say that Jesus affirms that this woman's faith is what made her completely whole. Notice in the text, he did not lay hands on her. But confirms that power left him, right, and was imparted into her because of her faith and her confession of belief when all seemed lost for her body to be made whole. Guess what? My belief in what God can or will do for you has no bearing on what you are believing and asking God for. Mm -hmm. God will either grant it to you and show you that it's already been provided for, or you won't see it manifest on this side of glory. One or two. Tony said God is sovereign. He's sovereign. But if it happens, faith is what manifests. Amen. Jesus not only came to save souls, but Paul said Jesus is the savior of the body. Amen. We need to be more concerned about what we do with our bodies. Talk to God first about your temple. Yeah. Before you do anything strange wow. or put anything strange into your body because you will be held accountable. Oh, Paul said, what? Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Amen. Right? And God dwells in you. God lives in you. And if any man defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. Yeah. That means you'll go home early. You can do stuff to your body that will send you to heaven before it's time. Yeah. Amen. Now, in the midst of this woman getting healed and set free of her affliction, a man named Jairus, the ruler of the synagogue, showed up to Jesus and also made a confession of faith. Yeah. Hey, we need to be making some confessions. Come on, daughter. Confessions yeah. of faith. Amen. 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 He said, if you come and lay your hands on my daughter, I believe she'll live. Come on, Hallelujah. In other words, Jesus, you got the power. Yeah. And I need that power in my life. Under my roof. Or my baby girl to raise her up. Off of that sick bed. Yeah. So far from our text, we understand that he's a restorer of our souls. Amen. He's yeah. a mind regulator. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He's also Jehovah Rapha, yes. the God that he yes. me. Amen? Amen? Now we're going to see him in his absolute authority yes. and in his absolute power. Yes. And, and this should give us hope today for the whole man, for the total man. How many remember that God is interested in healing the total man? Yes. Even if you're struggling mentally or emotionally or in your body, because of the cross of Calvary, your spirit will never die. Yes. Your spirit will never die because of what Christ has done for us on the cross. You might be downcast in spirit today. You might be weakened in your spirit today or even grieved, but let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah. For God will revive our spirits again and we will mount up on wings as eagles. Yeah. We will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint for they that wait on the Lord on, shall renew their strength. Yeah. For those who are hoping in his power yeah. when it seems 
is if all is lost. Amen. Amen. Listen, the faith of Jairus was put on pause as the woman with the issue of blood was getting healed. And then his faith was hit with a firing arrow of despair yeah. when his servants came up to him out of the blue and yeah. said, don't trouble the master anymore yeah. because your daughter is gone. Yeah. Your daughter is dead. She's not here anymore. Is there anybody here who's ever had to wait your turn in a healing line yeah. and wondered no. if there would be any power left when you finally got to the front of the road Love for it. somebody to pray over your life like they would want somebody to pray over their life. Love. I stand here to tell you today that God has power and he has power Love. to spare. Yeah. Amen. He's got power reserved for you when you've got the worst news you yeah. could ever get Love. from someone. Life has gone out of your door. Yes. Your little daughter, your 12 year old daughter, your baby girl is dead and gone. Wow. And on top of that, they said, don't worry about telling it to Jesus because it's all over now. Yep. He's a busy man. Well, He's God. got stuff to do. Well, He's got important things to look yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever know somebody, you ever ran into somebody like that that said, this one I think is a little bit too hard for God. This one, Tony, I think you need to give up on. It may not be the will of God for your life. Uh, did you ever run into somebody like that and say, you ought to curse God and you ought to die? Come but on. let me tell you something today. That when you try to curse God, you put a curse on yourself. Yeah. It sounds like Job's wife saying something crazy, but Job saying, I'm going to wait until my change comes. They said, trouble not the master. Trouble not the master. Don't worry about it. Jesus just couldn't get here on time. Amen. Don't sweat it. She's in a better place. Jairus may have thought for a second, maybe I did wait too long to call on God. Maybe he can't turn this one around for me. Wow. But Jesus had a word for him. And the word to Jairus was, keep on believing in the power you say that you believed in. Amen. When you stepped out of your tomb, Keep on believing in the power that you said you believed in when you stepped out from the crowd. Keep on believing in the power that you said you believed in yeah. when you stepped out of the synagogue yeah. to see if I am who I said yeah. I am. Yeah. Come on, what image will you allow in your life to stop you from believing God when it seems as if all is lost? Yeah. Keep on believing in spite of. Keep on believing regardless of. I'm reminded of the three Hebrew young men that said to King Nebuchadnezzar, Live long, O king. Our God is able to deliver us from the fiery furnace. But if not, but if not, he is, listen, we will not bow down to your image. We know that you're threatening us, but if he don't deliver us, we refuse to bow down to your image. We're going to keep on believing, even if we have to leave this earth early. We're going to keep on believing, if my time is cut short here on earth, I won't bow down to the image. I won't bow down to the image of fear. I will not bow down to the outside forces, to the inside pressures, trouble all around me, sickness in my body. Threats of losing my job, being ostracized by society, even excommunicated from the church. But I will, I will trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not unto my own understanding in all of my ways. I will acknowledge him in any, in every circumstance. And he shall, he shall, he shall direct my path into the new works of his spirit. The next thing that Jesus did in the text is he took the faithful few because the faithful is sometimes the only ones even there to even work with in the first place. Only Peter, only James, and only John went with them to Jairus' house in verse 37. Sometimes it's not meant for everyone to be in on Jesus revealing himself. Sometimes it's not meant for everyone to be in on Jesus manifesting his power. Then Jesus did what a lot of us would deem to be unthinkable. After the crowd of mourners laughed at him and mocked at his words when he was only trying to share the good news that life was on the way. A new spirit was on the way. In verse 40, 
He threw all of them out of Jairus' house. Get out of here. Get them all out of here. Usher them out of here. Oh, how rude, some religious people might say. How rude of Jesus. But Jesus is the only man that I know that went into another man's house and established order. Amen. You better hear me today. On, Read the text. We dealt with things of the soul and of the body. And now as I begin to close, we are dealing with things of the spirit. Yes. And sometimes you have to take drastic measures as a leader to help people standing in faith to receive from the Lord. Yes. You can grieve Deacon Jones. I don't care. You can even grieve Pastor Wood because you might see us as just ordinary regular men. And that's all right. Yes. But God is not going to continue to allow any of us to grieve his spirit. Yes. Everyone is not going to be in Jairus' house doing this next move of God. Yes. Doing this restoration of the Holy Spirit power back into the lifeless body of the church. Everyone is not going to be a part of it. Yes. And if you ask God why, why, Lord, am I not seeing miracles in my ministry? Why am I not seeing miracles in my life? Why haven't I seen miracles before? And you are adamant that they don't exist because you think that you are so special that God wouldn't dare move without you. Then you already have your answer. Amen. He put you out of the house already. And you didn't even know it. Along with the other mockers and unbelievers. And Jesus told the young girl, Talitha Kuma, I say unto you, arise. That's the word for the church today. Arise. Get up. I'm breathing a new spirit into you. But if you go with me as I close, this whole passage to me is symbolic of the condition of the heart of the church. We need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Yes. Because the soul of the church has been snatched yes. and replaced with a demonic clone, yes. an image of power. Ah. Yes. It's calling right, wrong, and wrong, right. Come on, Doc. No matter how many chains we are breaking in front of people as we perform before them in our music and on stage with elaborate services as if we are free. Ah. Our minds are still bound up in the tombs of the dead. Yes. When Jesus already told us, let the dead bury the dead, yes. and you yes. come and follow me. Yes. We need to be healed because so much damage has been done to us inside and outside of the body of Christ. We messed up. We got a lot of baggage ah, that man. we don't even want to deal with. Come on, Doc. We have been hemorrhaging life. We don't know who we are ah. as a people. We don't know who we are as a body, as a community. We don't know how to treat one another in love as he commanded us. Oh, we have accepted every kind of teaching oh, and doctrine. Jesus. And been to every kind of doctor there is. And it hasn't gotten better, but rather gotten worse. Jesus. Just like the woman with the issue. Come on, God. We need Jesus to stop our flow that is going out of us. So the power he placed in our lives is not being wasted. Ah, come on, Doc. The spirit of this young lady returned to her. And the same thing is going to happen to the true church, the remnant church of God. Jesus had brought them good news. And that's what I'm bringing you today. Ah, she's not dead, but she's only asleep. Her soul, her body, and her spirit are just asleep. Put the skeptics out. And believe, even when it seems as if all hope is lost for the church, believe that God is going to do something yeah, for his church. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. worldwide harvest of souls is on the horizon. Yeah. India is throwing out all of their idols and burning all of their books. Ah. Everything that they prayed to because they could not save them from COVID-19. Nope. That's the move of God. Yeah. And my question to you, to you today is, are you in or are you out? Jesus has the power to breathe into the body and make it a living soul. Genesis. Ah. Jesus can breathe into a soul and say, receive the Holy Spirit. John chapter 20. In our text, 
From the beginning, Jesus spoke, spoke to the spirits inside of the demoniac and commanded to, to go out. And at the end of our text, Jesus speaks to a young lady and commands her spirit to come back in, come on, Amen. to return. Well, well. Mark 5 clearly identifies Jesus as the resurrection, the truth, and the life. These three were given a second chance. The church will be given a second chance, but what about you? What about you today? Amen. The Bible says that you must be born again. Right. You need a new spirit from the Lord. Will you come? That's it. That's it. Will you come and hope in his power when all seems lost? Yes. Come on and praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 